previously on Planet Crafter. We were dropped here by Sentinel Corp to terraform this planet and do so using nothing but our wits and what we find laying around. So we gathered some resources and we built a house upon a hill. We finished our house with practical things like storage, which we finally managed to fill. We melted ice and flooded the world. We started growing algae to terraform this world. We've grown some grass and a lot of flowers. We planted some trees and now wonder why there's a giant beanstalk for us to see. We were banned from launching rockets as that caused meteorites to fall from the sky. We've now been attacked by meteorites and are now in fear whenever they fall from the sky. We've ready crashed ships and found rail guns laying about. We found pulsar quartz in secret caves that ended with biomes having a heat wave. We found Sandfalls that never end and super alloy that never bends. In our endless exploration, we found underground bunkers where Zyodan went mad. We built, we optimized, we grew until the Terraform Index was true. And remember, every like gives us a piece of Osmium. Every new subscriber keeps us on track. G'day, mate, and welcome back to Planet Crafter with me, GD. As we can see, we're 50% of the way through trees already. And the Terraformation Index is doing great. Uh, we have uh, very, very close. We're going to get access to the screen, the orbital information, which will display information about the rocket sent into orbit. Uh, oxygen, a little bit far away. Yeah, a little bit far away. Heat, same story. We're about halfway there. And pressure, we're very, very close. So what I want to do is I have all the materials on me to go whack down two more of our drills. We want to do that. At the same time, I want to... Hedge my bets, grab enough material to make an iron shack, almost. Uh, and we're going to go straight to, we're not wasting any time today, we're going to go straight to the iridium mine. We're going to check out the beanstalk and then probably on to this biome. I'd love uranium, but it's a long way away. Chance of me getting distracted between here and there is very, very high. Also, we're not that far from mining T2 and we'll still have it tiny bit of power left over after I put down two of these. Uh, also means we get to check out the trees on the way. So let's go. Well, we have saplings at least. Okay. And what do they actually look like up close? And the problem is I've planted these so close together you don't know which one's which. No sort of information mark. You're a furry tree. Okay. Uh, so you were at growth 100%. You are probably that one over there, uh, which is the Itara. I can't... One of these was one of the original seeds we started with. You're the golden seed, which looks like that. Oh, which funnily enough looks like the fern we put into space. And you are Linfola. I'm guessing that's Linfola. I have no idea what you are. Probably part of the golden seed. That's all right. We have some trees. That's a start. Uh, obviously, um, well, I've been looking at the frame rate down the bottom left, and there are spots where it gets a little bit dodgy. The frame rate gets a little bit low, so I need to be considerate of that in the future, and I will probably, in the next couple of episodes, rearrange and move a whole pile of stuff. Uh, I also need to do a mass pickup of things that are not important, and... That's it, I only had two of them. Uh, and bring them back to base. The other thing I'm going to do is, I'm 100% going to hedge my bets here. I have lots of things on me. Uh, iridium goes in there. Everything else we're going to put in here, with the exception being a microchip. Uh, let's get rid of that. Or oh, actually, let's have a snack and a drink. Oh, there's water right outside. Uh, the exception being, I'm going to take everything I need to make a map. Uh... Yeah, we'll clean that up on the way back. I'm going to hope that I don't need an iron hut up here, an iron shack, because, well, it's hopefully fairly quick to get back down. Okay. All right, first things first. Where the hell is a map? Are we in the same spot or did we teleport? We're in the same spot. Okay, now I want to turn off the map information because that literally looks like the top of rock with no sort of indication of where I am. All right, we'll take our map. We'll obviously grab the zeolite. So this is like natural zeolite, like sticking out of the rocks, like every other resource we've ever found. Whereas all the other ones look to be like they're growing out of the plants. Oh, loot box. I won't say no to a loot box. What if we get a golden box as well? Uh, oh my God, that's a whole nuclear reactor ready to go. Well, that solves some power problems. Uh, three uranium rods. That's massive for us at this stage. Nothing up here. Do a quick quick scope around. I'm assuming, yeah, I can definitely climb back down. I probably should check that out. Oh, two loot boxes. 
Uh, that's like a reactor and a half. Well, a reactor and a third. I like this tiny, itty bitty biome. Like, the fact that you've got some trees is meh. I wonder if these naturally pre produce oxygen. I wonder if I turn everything off, whether the biomass counter would keep running. Okay, let's. Ch yeah. Yes, please. Uh. 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 Okay. Um, I gotta run back. Actually, let's put our compass here. What? That's a green thing. So that must be where we are. Oh, this must be hidden he in here. We don't have rocks above us. Okay. Uh, let's grab what we can. Okay, so there's three items up here plus our... You know what? I don't need the iron. Yeah, we can take the iron back with us. Okay. Let's go back down. Let's dump all this and then come back up. Hello? Climb. Or we could just fall. Ah! Okay, I broke my ankle on the way down. Okay. Uh, sure. Loot box. Loot box. Drop. Sort all the stuff. There's our map information. Actually, I just want the whole box. Uh, there's our map information rocket. Uh, no, that's all resources. They can stay. Uh, alright. So we can just fall back down. And as long as I don't do that again, we'll have enough hit points to get home, hopefully. Uh, so now we're up here. It's that way. Yes, there we go. There's our map. There's our loot box. Yoink. And yoink. And further up is a little piece of zeolite insisting that you should oh come to the edge of the cliff face okay so that's my uh, aluminium field which has just got machines everywhere why does it keep glinting over there probably because it's just aluminium uh osmium okay well we'll get some osmium in a minute so this is yeah right on the edge of the mountain that looks like a passageway there as well so does this i wonder if there's because i haven't i haven't really been around there too much all right and we can't quite see the house upon a hill but we could Probably take this as a bit of a long cut. You know, go up and across rather than cut through the side of the mountain. Well, that makes life easier. Uh, somebody shave the top of the cliff. Oh. I was about to say, don't fall through there, JD. Don't fall through there. Shit. Okay. All right, I'll click the box a second time. I'm not doing that again. That was a mistake. Okay, we're going to go back down a hole. Climb. Okay, good. Much better. All right, much safer way down. Whew. All right, well, empty out you. As I said, the way this system works is you don't have crap in your inventory, so we dump that, we dump that, we come to here. No. Okay, we go to there, we dump all the iridium, we grab whatever aluminium we can, then we just grab a mix of everything, and we go super, super, and actually, well, super would probably go in with the rods, and that's it until I get more aluminium. Okay, so we're going to leave the compass here, I think. We'll take the zeolite, we'll take the uranium the zeolite, the fertilizer, the explosive powder. Uh, the beans can go in here as well. I'll take sulfur. Not that we're really short on sulfur. I don't need the seeds. We have so many seeds at home. Uh, I will take... That's pretty much it. Yep, I'll come through here and collect again. Is there anything else I want whilst I'm here? Uh, actually, I'm, I'll take raw resources, because we're getting short on some things. Uh, I'll take that, and I'll take that. Yes. Okay, so first things first. Radioactive box, dump that. Uh, then we're going to go to the things box, dump that. We're going to go to the stuff box, and we're going to dump that and that. We're going to go super box, dump that. Sulfur box. No, that one's still full. Uh, that sulfur box, dump that. Uh, we're... We're going to pick up an Osmium whilst we're here, because I want... I, I just left a compass behind. Uh, aluminium, that's what I want. Two aluminium to make yet another compass. 
Yeah. Uh, so what's that leave me with? Magnesium, which goes in that one. Silicans, which go in that one. Cobalt in that one. And titanium in that one. And what else do I need to make that? One of those pieces of silicon back. Okay. All right. So first things first, map information rocket. Oh, map information screen rocket thingamajiggy bot. This is what I'm curious about. Holy crap. How much power did you need? 35. Oh, we were that close. Okay. It's pretty. Are these meant to be our rockets going around? I guess so. I count five, six things orbiting and I've only got... I count a lot more. Okay, I think that has no bearing on, on how many rockets... Oh, actually, plus we've done a couple of... Hmm, okay, so that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't know, I wasn't counting the orbits. Okay, okay. All right, so we need nuclear reactors. That's okay. We literally just found, like, almost complete nuclear reactors. Uh, radioactive. I want... We're one short. Always one short. Uh, I want explosives powder. Then we'll get some water from the roof, and we should be good to go. So the gas extractor keeps finding bottles of oxygen, and I don't know what to do with them. Like... We don't really need boxes of bottles of oxygen. Like, sure, occasionally they might be helpful, but generally speaking, not something we're too worried about. Uh, so we're back to 300 kilowatts. Yeah, I, I don't know what to do with them. Uh, okay, what I do know is we'll put that in there for the moment. I need to refill that with titanium. We'll put those in the wet box. We'll go check on our latest seed, because I figured I'll just crank out seeds whilst we wait. Uh, we want one of them. I want some crappy seeds. So, we throw in here another shangy, methane, and mutagen. Uh, nope, that's wrong. Uh, fuck. That's right. Start sequencing. Let you run. We'll dump those. Dump those. It's full. Uh, okay, we might make some more algae. Alright, how much water do we have? A fair bit. Okay, so let's take a fair bit of water with a fair bit of algae and convert all that into bacteria samples. Take all our bacteria samples, all three of them, uh, with the sulfur and convert them into mutagen. Uh, yeah, things are getting low. Uh, okay, so it looks like water is our shortfall once again. All right, uh, food. And water we can just drink anywhere. We can just drink anywhere. Let's go pick up some algae and get a drink at the same time. Okay. Turns out you can't drink whilst underwater. You have to be uh, aimed at the surface. Okay, and we'll dump all this, and I want to check the bio thingy upstairs. Because I have a feeling there was an unlock at 75. We'll also grab those. 75 kilos. That was the tree spreader. Okay, so the bio lab is done, done. We've got a go box. We're going to take our go box, and we are going to run out to... Where do we put that shack? There was a shack up here. I want to... Oh, that's changed again. Okay, I want to go look at what was a giant red dot. It's now no longer giant and red. I guess the same with every other part of the planet. It's terraforming slowly over time. So if it was on fire, we've terraformed the planet enough that we put out the fire. Okay, we can cut through here. And then go straight up the hill. Over that one. Yeah, over that one. Up to the top of here, we put an iron shack over here. It's still full of dust. Okay, uh, so that's our previous loot chest. We'll put down another loot chest. I still have, I've got a spare map on me now. So we've got a map here in the corner. Plus I have a spare one. So it's filling with water and it's on fire. Okay. All right, so I guess we just go for a look around here. So that was the cave that we went through. Oh, cool. I love high visibility. Oh, nothing up there. All right, down we go. More down. Okay, water's a good sign. It's just a hot. It's a hot rock. Okay, it looks like a volcano that did erupt. And that probably explains all the smoke and stuff. 
I wonder if there's a loot box hidden in there somewhere. Like under here? Iridium. I won't say no to Iridium. Well, I probably should. We've got heaps of stuff now. But more! Okay, and up on top, like right... Hello? Oh. You can walk through and under? I, well, I'm guessing this is meant to be a meteorite then. I was going with volcano. But maybe meteorite makes more sense. Okay, so have a look around. See if we see anything on the coastline. No. Okay. How about the opposing coastline? Because, like, I I'm expecting a loot box. We we've got to look underwater. Okay. No, no, look at the water. Drink. There we go. We've got the drinking thing worked out. Okay. Nothing on the coastline. Inlet. No. Oh, uh, it's a single piece of cobalt. Okay, nothing there either. That's back to where the rocks sort of block off the path. Yep, alright. Underwater? Iron. Loot box, there we go. I knew there'd be some. Uh, sure. Oh, oxygen. Shit. Uh, do I still have... No, I don't have the map on me. Crap, I don't know which way it is. We'll just assume that this is it. Um... I don't have my bearings of which way is towards the iron shack. Okay, we're above the clouds. No, we're not above the clouds. I don't think it was this way. It's there. I feel like maybe I should carry those oxygen bottles on me. I don't know if it was quicker to go down and then up or around the top. I probably would have got more exploring done if I went around the top. But in theory, with a jetpack, uh, straight line's a straight line. I missed it. Yeah, yeah, oxygen low. As long as it doesn't say critical, we're fine. Okay, alright. So, we didn't find a lot so far, but we did find some stuff. Uh, I, I might take one of those useless oxygen capsules with me. I might also take a map. At least then we can put it down and get our directions of which way's home. Uh, let's come down to water level first. So it is... If that's 12 o'clock, it is, say, 4 o'clock from where the little cutoff is. There we go. There's our ore extracted T2. Okay, so underwater we go. Uh, whole lot of nothing in that direction. Uh... Resources, more resources, nothing but resources... Uh, loot box. Oh, that's another rocket engine. I'll take a rocket engine. Although we could probably craft those easy enough now. Uh, it's boiling hot lava underwater. No question. It's fine. Okay, having everything underwater actually makes it e uh, a lot harder to find things. A lot harder. Uh, nope. Another loot chest. Oh, that's not a loot chest. That's a... I thought I found the perfect meteorite crater to build my launch platform, but the visibility is atrocious. There's no way I'll be able to send anything from down here. Try to make another base higher on the crater rim. Somewhere near coordinates. Okay, very, very handy to have. All right. Uh, hopefully, fog will fade off soon. Oh, this is Icalus. Uh, we don't know what happened to Icalus, but he does have good loot. Along with space food, water, and oxygen. What were those coordinates? That's nowhere near where we are. That's four, that's seven, that's ten. Okay. That is nowhere near where we are. And I don't know which way I'm going. I guess we just go... There. That's a loot box, so we must be going the right direction. Okay. Uh, we're out of out of room. Uh, do I have iron on me? I do. Wind turbine. Good old wind turbine. Wind turbine marker. All right. Because we have some limited time, uh, I'm guessing home is this way. So we'll sort of head up the mountain at an odd angle, looking for other stuff and things. And we're well around the hill.
Okay, we'll go around the hill. Let's go, at least go into the hill. Yeah, that the, the, the torch does not help. Is it a way down? No, not really. I'm expecting some sort of path. Okay, uh, we're going to put down another loot box, because I love me a loot box. We're going to dump everything. Pull. I should have just put down my compass. Uh, Alright, back down. No, that's a bit of cobalt. It can't rain or something and all this dust go away. Alright, so back in the water, we're looking for the wind turbine underwater. Does that make it a hydroelectric generator? Just ask him. It's a wind turbine. It should be easy to find. It's right beside a loot box. No. Is that wind turbine? Uh, is that iridium or is that... No, that is iridium. And that's lava. Okay. Alright, so we'll pick up our wind turbine. Empty out this loot box. Okay, so there's more iridium. I'm going to collect it. Not that we really need it. But, you know. I like looting. No, that doesn't look like a good place to get in either. Oh, it's again a piece of cobalt. How about there? Is that a good place to get in? No. No. Alright, I seem to have gone all the way around. Alright, can I get a compass, please? If I zoom all the way in... So wherever that thing was, we can't see it. Okay, so minus 580 is about here somewhere. And I don't remember what the other coordinate was. And it didn't say exactly these coordinates. It said around here! Okay, before I do anything else, let's put down our compass so we know exactly where we are from a bird's eye view. Okay. I did say it looked like there were flat areas over here. Okay, all right. Okay, well, it's dusty inside, which is not a good sign. We're going to find this is where Icarus went bad as well. Right? Yeah. Holy crap. Just keep going right, Chitty. Keep going right. Uh, take the chest. Uh, how many days have I spent on this planet? I can't tell anymore. What's still the year 3041? Uh, does my family still remember me? I miss them so much. I miss everything that is not a red rock at this point. Is somebody waiting for me back home to really have any chance of getting out of here? I'm doing my best to survive. I'm getting better and better at it. Maybe help will come. Maybe we'll send a rescue team. There's no way for anyone. There's no way nobody will be looking for us, looking for me. Okay. I want a fake wall. I love fake walls. Fake wall has not anything overly great. I don't have titanium. Okay, so we cannot make... Oh, that's a sign of somebody going mad. Uh, we cannot make a loot shack. Shit, my inventory is full. Oh, it goes down more? There's more doors. Okay, all right. We need... We need, we need, we need, we need, we need titanium. Jetpack. Oxygen, oxygen bottles. Okay. I'll take those for emergency supplies because I am lost. Oh, yeah. All right, I took a wrong turn somewhere. Open my doorway. Open my doorway. There we go. Okay, so there to there to there to... Where'd my microchip go? Oh, okay, it's right there. All right, I cannot build that because I don't have titanium. Uh, let's have one of those. There's no way I'm going to find titanium, is there? Not once this dark out. Okay, finding this, even when I know where it is, is painful. Where is a beacon? Uh, actually, let's start with Iron Shack. Uh, door. At least now we have oxygen. Storage. Before I put anything in there, where is that beacon? I have titanium. No, I couldn't be so lucky. I could be so lucky. Okay. Uh, beacon 
right smack there. All right, so that shows up at all times with that blue marker when I'm within like a kilometer of it or something. So I should be able to see that at all times. Well, when we come out to this biome. Okay, we need to do some digging. Uh, matter of interest, matter of interest. Minor super alloy rods and a lot of energy. Okay, so we'd need another nuclear reactor anyway. All right, so we're gonna go down. We're gonna go down. We have door number one, door number two, and then we went straight. Okay, and we went right, and we went right, and we found that. We found crazy chest. Okay, we'll remove that. We'll come back to here. We'll go right again. We'll go through this little alley of, uh, he's definitely not losing his mind. Uh, we'll remove that door. Okay, not going to go in there. We're going to stick to the right. Okay, more rocket engines. I need uranium. I also have one slot left in my inventory at this point. I have zero slots left in my inventory. Okay. All right. So we're back to this door that we just removed, I hope. Okay. So this is back to jetpack and oxygen tank. So we've made a full loop somewhere. Okay. That's the oxygen machines. That's a... Okay, so it is a full loop. All right, so we've gone all the way around. But there were definitely side rooms I haven't been in yet. So number one... It's not that one. Oh, crap. I might be lost. Okay, that was one of them. So down to another level. Oh! Pulsar quartz. This is your bedroom. Just random bits of pulsar quartz just sitting on the table. Okay. Uh, personal loot with uranium. I like it. Oh. It's a thingamajiggy bowl. A golden effigy with personal food. And what if I stayed here forever? I've found enough ice to drink and my crops are getting bigger and bigger. I've successfully set up energy source with a few solar panels. And for now, at least, I've finally a little bit of comfort. Uh, could I spend my life by myself? Do I need company to live? Will I die alone? There's something really strange about this planet. Can't say what it is, but the more time I spend here, the more I want to stay. Nonsense. Okay. All right, so maybe he didn't go crazy. Maybe it was just the other guy. All right, so we're going to come in here because this has more loot boxes. Thank you. And more loot boxes. Thank you. Okay, what else have we not looked at? We've been in here. We have not looked at that. That is a comms dish and another uranium rod and sending message attempts number 86, 87, 89, 90, 91. Okay. All right, my inventory is now full, and I need to find the way out. So, uh, loot box number three, I think we're up to. Okay, so back in, through the front door. We went right. We went right and looked in that room, which had the secret wall. Uh, is any of that deconstructible? No. Okay. So, through the tubes, uh, forward, 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 uh, yeah, that's probably okay. Down, that was the private quarters, so back up, uh, left to a tiny loot room that we've already raided, right into another loot room, which we've raided, uh, left into the information room, which we've now looted, uh, forward again, and back to here which didn't have oxygen food and that takes us back to the start right your veggie tubes okay so it is just one giant loop one giant loop full of loot okay so up and up okay so hang on let's go jump in the water all right so that fixes that problem i'm low on food but we'll get to that problem okay so uh let me do a quick sort Okay, so we've got some iron, we've got some more seeds, we've got more seeds, more iron, more aluminium, and a hefty inventory full of lots of goodies. Uh, if I look at the map really quickly, we're going basically out the door hard left. And we need to go stop at the other loot box, hopefully I put food in it, and then go straight home. Because uh, one, we're probably getting close on time, and two, well, I'm hungry. Food, problem solved. Okay. Uh, yeah, a lot of food. And super alloy. And zeolite. And rocket engines. And, and, and. Okay. Uh, and we got two pieces of uranium. 
which should be enough to get us another nuclear reactor. So, uh, back at base, first thing we do is drop, obviously drop everything, uh, is put down another nuclear reactor. Next thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna duck into our osmium cave straight away and find just a little bit of clear space, probably actually right here. And I've already collected the bits we need for a miner. Let's put you right. Oh, that's a way bigger chest. And it does mine osmium. Okay, so the recipe for that is three bits of osmium, uh, super alloy rod, and iridium rods. We have plenty of iridium rods. Iridium rods are not going to be our shortage. Uh, super alloy, we can make it. We can make it. It could be a little bit difficult. could take a bit of time. But we can definitely make super alloy rods. Osmium, on the other hand, well, technically, we probably have a chest full. But it's three for every miner. So eight miners, roughly, and we're going to need a couple on uh, a couple on uranium, a couple on osmium. They're really the last two resources that we sort of were struggling on. Technically zeolite, but we haven't found anything that uses zeolite yet, so I guess that doesn't matter. That's a beacon. Okay. And what is that? That was ages ago where I said there was going to be a cave there. Maybe there is a cave there now. Okay. Well, look, we're at 2.99. We didn't get one at three. No, that was 25,000. Okay, so we've got a while before we unlock anything else. All right, I'm definitely going to be calling this episode here. I think between episodes... Oh, and we're almost finished trees. Okay, I think we're going to find out what comes after trees. And then I really, really think the next thing I need to do is I need to do a cleanup. I need to do an optimize. I need to probably get some of those miners down insects. Okay, insects. All right. And that is definitely not moving. All right. We have some time to kill, obviously, which means I have some time to do some cleanup. So I'm going to do some cleanup. I'm going to do some rearranging. I won't do any more exploring. Uh, we already have that off the screen. Uranium mine I could go tackle. We have iridium. We have aluminium. We have sulfur. We have zeolite. We have osmium. Technically, I have super alloy, but uh, we'll leave that one. We'll leave that one. And I will see you guys in the next episode, hopefully with some major changes. But we will see. We will see and we'll all find out in the very next episode. Come back. Tune in then. I will see you guys then. Uh, and as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Do I hope you've enjoyed. And yes, I'll see you guys in the very next episode. All right. Bye.